This is Frank from L.A., and he's been suffering with sciatica down his left leg for seven months after he went to the gym, didn't really know what happened, something felt like it popped, and he's been suffering ever since. Tried several different doctors, acupuncturists, physical therapists, massages all the time, no help, went to get some drugs, ibuprofen, that kind of crap too, nada, radical sleep problems, he has anxiety, brain fog, TMJ, vertigo, and some ringing in the ears, can't bend over terrible flexibility his whole life. Uh, can't squat, tons of pain down his leg. Uh, we did a dermatone test on him, see so he can't feel on one side of the body. Took some x-rays, his reverse curve is horrible. Adjusted him and giddy up. Frankie, and he is the original band member and Frankie Goes to Hollywood. And uh, <laughs> actually he doesn't know what the freaking song is. Like, feels so goddamn old. So. Everybody that knows the song, you leave a comment in the comment section and be like, oh yeah, relax. <laughs> right? Yeah, he didn't know. I just put it on for all these people in this in my office. Nobody knew the song. He's like, I think I heard that once in my car. I go, oh my God. I've been having sciatica pain for about seven months now. Uh, it started in my lower back, then it started shooting down my left leg all the way to my pretty much foot. You're 35, right? 24, uh -oh. actually. I know, I shouldn't be feeling this. <laughs> Um, just uh, it's really like the, the, the low, low back pain is pretty intense. It was intense, but it got better. But the sciatica pain is just I can't take and it. But all of a sudden, overnight, just and then I started hurting. Yeah, never went away. It's been acupuncture four times, physical therapy multiple times, massage, uh, therapy. massage therapy two to three times a week since then, mm -hmm. right? So he's been hitting the massage hard. Yes, yes, face up or face down? Uh, right. face down. <laughs> Um, what? General practitioner has ibuprofen, anti-inflammatories, muscle relaxants. He also has vertigo a couple times a week, a little yes. dizziness. He also has ringing in his ears uh, twice a week also. Correct. And yes. how long has that been going on? For years uh, before? It's this, been going right? on for almost, like, I want to say, like four years. Four maybe? years. Yes. Tell us about your sleep. Horrible. Um, I want to say this past month, I probably go to sleep around four in the morning. And I wake up just so tri like tired and groggy. Just like, I get no rest because I have to like move around to see what hurts less. And I just stayed up for like, you know, two hours and that's my sleep pretty much. So it's been really bad this past month. I've been no sleep pretty much. Yeah, I've been having anxiety, I want to say like <laughs> four years already, but I try to control it, but just, you know, it just got worse with this, when the static I hit. It's just kind of like a roller coaster, kind of just everything came really strong and I just didn't know how to take it. And also like brain fog and like all these, like like doctor says, you know, everything just kind of falls into place after one sentence after another. That's pretty much it. That's it. And then scale one ten, how bad is your back pain? Oh, like a ten. Like a ten. Oh, yeah. Which side? Left side. Oh, uh, right? left side. Yeah. Left side. Go ahead and stand up. Come back to this, please. How about that? That's okay. I don't feel no pain in that. No pain. Can you put your arms down? Now look at the floor, please. How about that? No pain. No pain. Look at the ceiling. How about that? No pain. No pain. So no pain is that, guys. I'm no gonna pain. fix his <laughs> leg by right? working on his neck. Is that freaking blow your mind? Uh uh. Okay, squat please. How much pain in your knees, your um, back? Just some tension in my lower back and my leg. Just How a much? shooting just pain. Seven. Like seven. Seven, yeah. go stand up. Uh, sensation again, so. Um, <sighs> same or different? A little bit different, yeah. Okay, what's different? I feel I feel it more over here on my right gotcha. side. Gotcha, so the left side is the one that's going yes. down, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, that one didn't. Now, what about this one? Oops, this one. Oh yeah, I, did, I, did, I, did, I didn't feel it as much here. I felt yeah. more. That's L5, yeah. guys. So the big toe. That's right. We have it. Excellent. <laughs> the crunch. <laughs> the crunch? How'd that feel, sir? That wasn't bad at all. It seems scary on the videos. I know people are just like, oh my god, that's so scary. But mm -hmm. it's not like, it doesn't hurt. So you're fine. Right. Check it out, guys. Mid cervical, guys. This side is definitely Ooh. tighter here. Yeah. Whew. Was that a little more painful? Oh yeah, I felt <laughs> Gonna help up, Frankie goes to Hollywood here. He's a little woozy, something a little different. Whoa, 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 whoa. Relax, don't do it. <laughs> Let's see how he's doing. Definitely my neck feels like lighter for some reason. And my neck was fine. Some reason. This is <laughs> Sorry, I can't help it. It's like hard to describe, which is very like zen again, like very like relaxed. Okay. Like my shoulders feel like like no tension, and I had no tension coming in. It's just weird. Okay. It's like <laughs> tension got really like I don't the, know. The no tension got less yeah, tension. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Whatever. I'm just going that I have noise. It's fucking crazy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, not great. No, you don't have to straighten that leg. Just keep the straight. So it didn't bend over very much. But how the pals are paying the back? It was a ten a minute ago. 
I say like still a, 10? Like seven. So a little bit less. Yeah, a little bit less. Right? I'm surprised it's not more than that. Go ahead and go back like this, please. He's trying for me. I can see he's trying for me. No pain at all. No pain, right? Mm -mm. Okay, go ahead and look, look down the floor. Look at the floor. Okay, pain there at all? Mm -mm. Look at the ceiling. There's no pain here either? No. Now squat to the ground. Let's take a look at the squat. That was a no, seven. Oh no, that was like, I didn't like want to say five. Yeah, five for sure. Okay, go down again. Yeah, like... A little less? Oh yeah, like four actually. Gotcha. Okay, same or different? Yeah, definitely more same, yeah. Okay, let's equal, yeah. Let's say this one. Yeah, equal. When there's a difference between the two, that means you have a neurological deficit. That neuro neurological deficit happens because of traction and leverage in the body. So to see something that I do here affect his toe, you know, I call it a miracle. <laughs> <laughs> but you guys call it what you want. <clears throat> it was a, overall a very fun experience. Definitely uh, Dr. T is very wise. You know, he, he knows his stuff. He knows, you know, what he's talking about. He just cuts, cuts down to the point, you know, like he lets you know how it is. Um, I'm here for the whole week program, so I'm excited for that. Uh, definitely, I have a positive experience. I feel good about it so far. So definitely, after my first adjustment, I feel a little bit pain-wise. It's definitely decreased like a lot. Like, just give us some kind of idea, just in general, and go over all the specifics. I'm kind of curious because we already talked yeah, about this. So a bit. sciatica pain definitely. Uh, I didn't have it at all yesterday. I drove home and I was fine. I walked my dog and it was at painless pretty much. Um, my problem was like thinking when once I get home, I'm gonna have to sleep and I'm gonna have to feel the pain, but. I didn't feel the pain. It was just literally minimal, like a two out of ten. Definitely a big improvement from. Yeah, that? when I laid down, I, I felt just like a slightly like sharp pain, but it was nothing compared to like how my pain was before. It was yeah. just like a four out of ten. How's the brain fog? Uh, I felt like very just kind of more clear driving home. It was not as when I I was driving here the first time. I was felt like very like kind of zoned out a little bit, and driving back home, I felt more alert, more kind of clear minded. I guess flexibility. Yeah, I cannot. No, it's no, your whole life. My though, whole right? life, yeah, yeah. And really bad, like he can't go past his knees his whole <laughs> life. So when you see this, I'm even saying that looks shitty. But he's like, man, look at that, look at how much better. So go ahead. Yeah, and show definitely us. better from like. Okay, so that's a how much to add your I'm pain in your back. Um, just be honest. Like a four out of ten. Yeah. Four out of ten. Yeah. So it was a nine yesterday. Yeah, right? it was really bad yesterday. Gotcha. And then we're gonna squat real quick. Go ahead and squat. Oh, squatting is good. And I want you guys to rewind back to the first video. And so this yeah. was seven or eight out of 10 on his left leg. How's that now? No pain. No pain. Mm -hmm. And usually when I walk my dog, I'll feel like sharp pain right away in my left leg. Gotcha. And when we're back and it was fine. I got it. Good, good, good. Okay. Definitely better from yesterday. This is way better now. I felt good. Um, I was walking for 45 minutes. Then I got slightly little, little like sharp pain on my left leg. Carrying but, some bags. Yeah, right? I, I was carrying some bags, of course. It was yeah. pretty heavy. Um, but nothing aside from that, like no, not, nothing else. That's right at C4, guys. There's a little bit of, there's a huge knot right there. You can hear that? That's all self-adjusting. He self-adjusts way too much over the years. And so his neck just moves. But then I have to force it down through the joint. That cracking that happens as I'm setting up is all self-adjusting. So you guys do not want to self-adjust because the more you do that, the more you create laxity in the joint, which makes it more difficult to stabilize them. I kind of screw up doing bad posture, bad habits that I, I still have that I need to break. Um, aside from that, you know, like before doing all this stuff, I was fine, you know, like I had no pain. But once I started going back to the, st the stuff I was doing, then correct, you know, laying down, the, all the wrong stuff. That's when the pink started coming. So he taught you some new posture yesterday, and how difficult is that to learn? Uh, it's not difficult. It's just you know getting used to the new way of walking and standing. Gotcha. Does it feel any easier today than yesterday? It feels easier. I'm not gonna say it's still like 100. Okay. So you guys are gonna hear, hear this self-adjusting thing. So watch this. I'm not gonna adjust him yet. I'll just put him in position. Mm. That's his neck. Good. I just practiced more in my posture today. I did some walking, just you know, basic stuff here and here and there. I feel much better. I feel more relaxed. Um, I'm just tired. I'm sleepy. <laughs> I like when people are sleepy because that means we're on the right track too. <laughs> okay. Okay, this way. okay. A skip. A skip. We're off to see the wizard. You know, look at this pink line right here, okay. which is this line right in the middle here. That's yeah. the center of mass of your body. Okay. So first thing we're looking for is where the head is relative to this pink line. So you can see it's left of center. It's leaning to the left. On that side right there. Okay. And it's leaning 14.60 millimeters. 
Well, that's pretty significant. Usually we'll yeah. see about five to six. This is about twice as twice, much as it yeah. should, yes. Right. So uh, this arrow is pointing to the side of laterality. This arrow is pointing to your jaw. So you see how there's less space here and more space here. So oh. your jaw is shifted to the right. So we have a little bit of a TMJ issue. Correct, yeah. Uh, jaw pressure will cause neck pressure. Oh. That neck pressure will throw your balance off when you grind your teeth at night, when you clinch. Mm, okay. If you have a tight jaw when you eat, it'll do the same thing. Okay. Uh, left shoulders lower over here. That's what it, this arrow points to. So essentially your whole body is leaning to the left. So okay. head's leaning left, shoulders leaning left. So your body's falling to the left. Okay. Now everybody wants to look at this degree, this 9.2 degree of scoliosis right here. It's not terrible scoliosis, but there is a curve. Correct. I call that the area of weakness of your body. So your body is weak right here. So this imbalance will attack that area because it's just more Correct, grandiose, yeah. okay. yes. Okay, And you can see that when he walks, guys. When you see him walk, you'll see him lean one way more and that's a scoliosis popping out. Low back is pretty good. And you can see la 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 la. Lots of scoliosis here, 13 and 11 degrees. Uh, this arrow points to gas in the system, so a little constipation here. You can see all through here, pretty pervasive through here. Mm -hmm. Not the worst I've ever seen. His left leg is shorter, so essentially his whole body is leaning to the left, yet his scoliosis is leaning to the right. Mm -hmm. So this is happening because of long-standing back pain. So we call this an antalgic position because his body's falling to the left, yet he's going to the right. So he's going against his pain. He's going away from his pain. Mm -hmm. And so he said that when he came I've, in. I've been doing that, yes. Yeah. Right. He can feel himself compensate for the pain. Side view here. So uh, arthritis all through this part of the back, right about the mid side of the, mid side of the back. That's about T11 to L1. And so you have arthritis already building up here. Um, a little before your age, it shouldn't be there. So mm -hmm. there's been a lot of pressure on his back for a long period of time. And so arthritis is the evidence of that. Over here, constipation again. Okay, so the neck should be shaped like this yellow line. You can see oh. how it's not. Yeah. Because it's not, um, this, ball, this arrow right here points to his atlas. This thing is completely worn off. This is half to three quarters worn off. This is actually supposed to be a bone like this straight. Correct, yeah. And you can see how it starts off here and then it just the whole, it looks like almost like a snail. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't even look like a bone anymore because this bone has worn off this bone. And how does that occur? Well, it's a high reverse curve here and the reverse curve, this bone forces itself on this bone because of what he does. And so he's heard this every day of his life. And when he moves his neck, and he hears this grinding in his head. Okay. And that grinding is this bone wearing on that bone. So why is that important? Well, the amount of energy needed to put that, to wear that thing off, causes distortion of the brainstem, which fits right in here like this. Correct, yeah. So the more you grind this off, the more you just disrupt the brain waves, and that you don't like, and so when you do that, you cause back pain. You also have a superior wisdom tooth up here that's mm -hmm. way the hell up into your jaw up here. Um, it's not really affecting you right now, but it could one day. You don't have a you don't have an inferior one down here. Mm -hmm. So again, this will probably have to be pulled or it has to be done something because this can cause pressure in your jaw, which can cause your neck to go off a little bit too. So this thing is going the wrong way. So when I actually adjust, so you guys will actually understand this, I'm adjusting this arrow right here. So why am I doing that? That's the apex of this curve. And so this thing's going the wrong way, so I want to make it go the right way. When I do this, guess what? The uh, intended consequence is that these come together and this atlas can now drop into the slot. It's so far off that it'll start to go in the right direction. When it does that, it takes pressure off the brainstem. So that's the philosophy, that's the reason, and it doesn't like to do it, so I have to push it hard. That's why I just, like I do. <laughs> no singing anymore, guys. So this is how it's supposed to look. Ah, oh, okay. You'll see the angle of the atlas right yeah, here? Like okay, that. yours is not even straight at all, right? And this is supposed to be round back here. Yours doesn't just, this is how normally it looks like crap. Yeah. Yours wears off and it's actually the entire bottom of the atlas is gone. That really takes some effort to be that screwed up. Yeah. And so the reason why your hamstrings have been so tight for so long is because you have, this has been going on for years, yeah. your whole life. Yeah, pretty much. And so your hamstrings are a reflection of that, okay? And so this is the curve supposed to be there. You can see it's completely opposite. But again, the real evidence of how bad your neck is is how much your atlas is worn out. Correct. Remember what I said about the x-rays. I'm going to adjust right where that curve goes the wrong way. And so when I set up on him, it really is with a purpose to push that neck back into a better curve, again, drawing the pressure off the atlas. So here's his atlas right here. I'm gonna go down to C2 and C3. And so what we do is come back here. So up here, atlas, we're gonna come right down to C3, which is right there. And you can feel that tension right mm -hmm. there. If I go lower, not quite as no. much. 
see right there at the apex. So it's not like uh, I can't confirm where the problem is. Mm -hmm. The problem is where he has sensitivity. Yeah. Yeah, see, right there. And so we're gonna go right through it. Good. <laughs> and if you see my hand, my hand goes into the curve of his neck and it's trying to push the opposite way. And again, you can feel this way right there. Oh, yeah. Yep. Down here, not no. as much. I slept almost 11 hours on Thursday, which is something I've never ever like had over years. You know, I've all struggled sleeping. Um, I woke up fine, you know, just um, slightly still. I had to work on my posture more and um, pretty positive stuff. Recliner sofa. Recliner sofa. Yeah. And he slept passed out when he got home. Passed out. He woke up with what? Pain, yeah. Tons of pain. Yeah, correct. All this pain back. But then he jumps in his bed. And I slept well and, and how much pain nothing yeah, exactly so again it's how you do things guys yeah see that sofa good i see like light at the end of the tunnel pretty much i was so hopeless with pain for like seven months that i didn't really see like improvement in any of the treatments i tried definitely coming here i do feel really positive that if I continue, you know, with more of the treatment, I definitely will be 100%. Uh, right now, I still have minimal pain, but I, I definitely feel more 80% better. I feel more energized. My overall, like, mental clarity, everything's pretty much kind of like refined. Uh, I seem to definitely do see a big, good, big good, positive good, good. outcome. Yeah. Sciatica, mm -hmm. how much better is that, sir? I want to say like 70, 75%. Gotcha, yeah. and that's what he came in with, that's Correct. what he was dying with. And so sleep, how much better sleep, sir? Oh my God, amazing now. I feel like I sleep like a baby now. Like, I feel like I can finally rest. Anxiety. It's, it's much better. I feel more at ease, you know, from especially the second adjustment. I definitely felt like some sort of kind of like a, like a zen, zen blanket. Yeah, I was really, Brain fog? Uh, it's, it's more clear, yeah. Gotcha, uh, jaw pain. Jaw pain, slightly, nothing, no, I don't know. Is it any better? I don't know. It's, it's, it's a little bit better, yeah. How's the dizziness um, different? It, it goes away much faster. Before it will stay longer, and like now it's just kind of like maybe like five minutes, ten minutes, and then it just goes away. Tonight it's ringing in the ears. I don't hear it. Yeah. He did that no, I'm serious though. Like, be, usually uh. when it's quiet, I kind of like hear little, but it's like I've been so calm and so at peace that just don't hear it. So you usually have it a couple times a week, you haven't heard yeah, it all week? I haven't heard it a week, yeah. That's all that nasty self adjusting, guys. Yeah. Okay, so still, he's about to his knees, almost to his knees now, which he wasn't That's earlier. That's big difference, because I was there when I came here, I was like, up to here, yeah, remember? Yeah. But go ahead and go, do it again. How much pain you're backing you up? Like a three. A three, gotcha. Yeah. Go back like this. Just be honest, we'll just see where you're at. Come no back. pain. Remember that whole left oh, leg with her? Yeah, no, nothing. Okay, get your ass down one more time. Nothing? <laughs> gotcha. And that was a 7 out of 10 pain in the left leg before. So, again, he's better. we still got a lot of work to do. All this week, we've worked on just, again, the neck. The neck. That's Lots of hope here. So, I encourage everyone to definitely give it a try. If you feel, like, lost or seriously, like, nowhere to go, like, nothing's helping, I do believe that Dr. T will definitely help you. So, give it a try, guys. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for that, uh, Frankie. Love you guys. See you guys next time.